extend Christian greetings to each one that is here this morning. Uh, blessing. I find it a joy to be here this morning to worship and uh, dis- discuss the Word of God. <clears throat> it's been a blessing. And trust as we continue to look and do the Word of God, we'll continue to uh, be blessed and encouraged and <clears throat> For a scripture, if you want to turn to 1 Timothy 6, <clears throat> you're reading there. Um, verse in Isaiah says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. <clears throat> uh, I guess that kind of points a little bit to the uh, direction of the message. Seeking the Lord, um, the title, Eternal Life Within Our Grasp. It's, it's, it's available, we could say, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we have it, <clears throat> but it's there, it's available. <clears throat> A quote <clears throat> that I read said that... Um, the reason why so few people find Christ is that they do not search for him with all their hearts. They're not terribly interested about their soul's salvation. <clears throat> when I read that, I thought, <clears throat> you know, it's very soon evident what our goal, what our interests are. People, you know, um, people can see can hear if they're around us, if we're, if we're talkative especially, I'll pretty soon know what our interests are. And uh, um, how much effort, how, how, uh, how people know. You know, I'm not saying that it's wrong to show, to have interests, but um, it is important that we um, that we show that it does show that we are Christians. <clears throat> you know, if we think about <clears throat> what I just said, then if we think about the how important it was to God to provide salvation for mankind. <clears throat> he he sent his son down to die for us to shed his blood he was you know he didn't just say well I, I you know I could send Jesus down to die for these people and to give them an example but he did it it was important he he created man and he wants man to um <clears throat> Have eternal life. First Timothy, I think I want to read the whole chapter, First Timothy 6. Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their, own, count their own masters worthy of all honor, that the name of God and his doctrine be not blasphemed. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them because they are brethren, rather do them service because they are faithful and beloved partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing but doting about questions, strife of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railing, evil, surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness, from such withdraw thyself. <clears throat> but godliness with contentment is great gain. We have brought nothing to this world, and certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. <clears throat> How easy are we content? It says, having food and raiment, let us be there with content. Verse 9, they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and to many foolish and hurtful lusts, and which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of evil, of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. 
But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, where, where unto thou art also called and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. I give thee charge in the sight of God, who quickeneth all things, that before Christ Jesus, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession, that thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable, unto the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which in his time he shall show, who is a blessed only Pontius, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, who only hath immortality dwelling in the light, which no man can approach unto, whom no man hath seen or can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. Charge them that are rich in the world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. That they do good, that they they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, distribute, willing to communicate, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoid profane and vain babblings and positions of science falsely so called, which some professing have erred concerning the faith. Grace be with thee. Amen. Two times here it says, lay hold on eternal life. So it's something that um, we don't just get it and we have it, but we, we need to grasp it. We need to continue uh, to make sure that we have it. We can fall away from it. <clears throat> and also it says, fight the good fight of faith. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's uh, if we lay hold on lay hold on something, we I can say we we grab it. We you know something that uh, we want to be certain that we have, and we're not going to lose it. And that's that's what you know. <clears throat> I guess what really, um, you know, we, several months ago, <clears throat> we had a funeral here, and we know it was two older people, Irvin and Fanny, and then there was the accident, <clears throat> took a young man's life, and then there was the accident that could have very easily taken three people's lives. But you know, <clears throat> it just, it, that um, two people, you could say, didn't even get scratched. And it's a miracle the third person wasn't instantly killed. <clears throat> um, I guess, and then I, you know, I came across this, and it was like, um, God has talked to us, and he continues to talk to us um, through things that, that happen, and, and are we, how important is it to us to, um, to make sure that we have eternal life, that we lay hold on eternal life. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> we fight the good fight by firm faith in the Lord our God. Um, makes me think of the verse, this is the victory that overcometh the world, even your faith. You know, it's to have eternal life, we need to have faith that the Word of God is, is truth and it's, it's what, we'll, what we will be judged by. And I appreciated the thoughts that um, in the Sunday school lesson, you know, 
if we think of the Gospels, the three Gospels, you know, that can't, there's no way that that's all that Jesus ever taught. There had to be much more. And, uh, you know, as we, I guess as we study the Word of God, and if we have, uh, if we want to know, God will continue to show us more and more. <clears throat> and then another verse, contend earnestly for the faith once delivered to the saints. It's, it's something that's worth, like it says, it's worth fighting for. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life. Um, and some words of Jesus, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So, you know, we, we can't just fight this fight of faith and say, you know, I'm, I'm just going to do whatever it takes, but we need to, in fighting the, in fighting the good fight of faith, it's, it needs to align with the word of God. <clears throat> if we don't, if we don't fight the good fight of faith, if we don't lay hold on eternal life, in this life, we won't have it when we die. The way where death finds us, eternity will leave us. <clears throat> and in order for us to fight the good fight of faith, to lay hold on eternal life, we have to believe in it. We have to believe that it's more, this life is, you know, there is a, there will be, eternal life or there will be eternal death and you know we we definitely don't want eternal death we want eternal life we want to to live in heaven and to so if we be, we need to believe in it to to lay hold on it to to grasp it and not be willing to let go of it <clears throat> Because you know, if we don't, if we don't uh, believe it, we won't lay hold on to things that we don't believe in. We won't, you know, um, <clears throat> things that we know aren't aren't. Uh, we could say shadows or fix, uh, fantasies or whatever. We, we won't lay hold on those because we know they're not real. So. We will grasp and lay hold on things that we know are real, and that's why we, we need to believe it, that there is eternity, um, and that we, in that way, we will lay hold on eternal life. We will grasp it <clears throat> and not be willing to, to let go of it, but we will hang on to it. Um, <clears throat> We don't know, like I said, we don't know when our when our end will be, how sudden it can be. Um, we've very plainly in the three um, different, uh, I'd say, the death of the first of Ern and Fanny, and then of Joel, you know, it was, if we look at those, we, we could see one coming and the other was passed before we knew it. And then of the accident, um, that two walked away from it and the third suffered. But, <clears throat> you know, life is, life is, uh, say fragile and short we don't know we don't know when when the time that God has for us that when that time ends we can't we don't know uh, yeah you know we think we still have a lot of time but <clears throat> time as we measure it is different from the way God measures time <clears throat> And
And the scripture says, he that believeth in him hath everlasting life. And also, the uh, verse says, there's a verse that says, when Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then we shall also appear with him in glory. We, you know, when that, <clears throat> when that time is that we, we see Jesus coming, um, there's, there's no, no changes to be made. We can't. It's, it's forever too late. <clears throat> you know, um, I talked to uh, talked to Eddie about that accident, and you know he said that <clears throat> they woke when they first ran off the road, but they went back and forth a couple times, and you know <clears throat> I don't think they had any time. If if God would have called any of them home, I don't think they had any time in that. In that state of trying to gain control of the uncertainty, um, I don't know. I mean, it just seems to me like there was no time there. You know, before, uh, by, the, by the time their mind had comprehended what was happening, it was over. And... It, uh, but that eternal life, it's, it's available to, to all of us. Um, and thank God that, <clears throat> that we have it, um, but we have to, we can't let go of that. We, I mean, we need to grasp it and hang on to it because if <clears throat> it's just like, uh, you know, a life rope that is thrown out to a man that's in the water and that's drowning, unless he grasps it and hangs on, just grasping it for a little bit isn't going to save him. If he lets go of it, he's going to still drown. And <clears throat> so it's in the same way in our, in our life. We need to grasp it. We need to lay hold and um, <clears throat> to realize that our life depends on it. <clears throat> You know, and the if we possess, um, if we grasp and grasp hold of eternal life, and and we possess it, and and we're hanging on to it, we're no longer enemies of God, but we're friends of God. <clears throat> we're no longer heirs of wrath, but children of the Most High. <clears throat> and as you know, as we experience that spirit the spirit of adoption um, knowing that we are part of the family of God then we can say call out and call you know say Abba Father call him our father <clears throat> it's a blessing that we have in knowing that um, that he's there he's watching over us you know I believe we've all experienced uh, the love of, of an earthly father and how he takes care of us and wants to to wants only the best um, for us, <clears throat> and that's the same way that God is. He wants the best for us and <clears throat> wants to keep us keep us safe and help us that we can um, have eternal life. <clears throat> Do you know, I, like I said, we need to believe in it, and as we believe in it, we we possess it, we lay hold on it, we we grasp it, um, and know that it doesn't. Um, <clears throat> it's something that there's not an option for us to let go of, but we're going to to grasp it and and to continue to hang on to it, and knowing that it's. It's the only way that we can have it is through Jesus Christ. It's through that blood. 
that he shed. <clears throat> and, you know, as we, um, there's so many things that, you know, um, that go along with that. It's not, you know, um, it's obeying the commands. It's uh, following, you know, the path, the example that Jesus left for us and the commands that he gave to us and <clears throat> believing in him. It says, he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live, and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. And then the question that was behind it, believest thou this? So, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's, uh, um, it's believing in it. And as, if we believe in it, we, we follow. We uh, make it part of our life. We we have a communion with God. <clears throat> you know, as we, <clears throat> if we lose that, um, if we lose that grip, um, if we, if we on eternal life, it's. <clears throat> it made me think of the uh, of the ten virgins, and their their life they. They came, they all came, and they all had their oil, oil in their lamps, and their lamps were burning. They, they, you know, I guess the way I picture it is they came up to heaven's door, and they were all prepared, and yet it wasn't time. You know, the, the door was still, still shut. They couldn't, you know, they were, you could say, uh, they were still alive in our, in our, in um, you know, we're still alive. We're prepared for heaven. But <clears throat> it says they, they slumbered and slept, I believe it says there. So it could say as they went through their life, they, they slumbered and slept. They, you know, that's the term that I think of as going through life. And half of them, their lights went out. They're all, they, they didn't, they lost the grip of eternal life and all of a sudden the doors were open and they weren't ready to go they awoke and seen that the time is now and they hurriedly trimmed their lights but they didn't have oil to put into them and the door was shut and when they finally pre I'd say when they finally um, said you know we don't have enough for the seven wise said to the seven foolish, we don't have enough for us and you. Go and buy for yourselves. Could say, and when they finally went and bought and came back, the door was barred. They couldn't get in. And, <clears throat> you know, that's um, it's part of possessing it and knowing that um, is is having that oil, having, as we go through our life, um, you know, the seven had it and maintained, and the seven others had it but lost it. And when they finally in their last, you could say in their last uh, breaths of their life tried to prepare, they didn't have enough time to prepare. <clears throat> You know, when we, when we get to heaven's door and it's closed, you know, the gates of heaven don't cut us off from God. We cut ourselves off. It's a choice that we make. It's not a choice that, that God makes to um, not let us in. We, if, if we aren't able to get in, it's because of our choices. <clears throat> Um, a few few more quotes that I read is, we are not in heaven yet, but heaven can be in us. And men do not say, do not yet say of us, he is with God, but we know that God is with us. Um, you know, it's, I guess it just, when I read that, it just kind of, um, it, just, it just blessed me in knowing that 
um, we're not with God, but he is with us. And sometime we can be with him in heaven. <clears throat> and so, you know, as we, as we look at uh, laying hold on eternal life, um, so it's, it's something that, that we, we do now and we, we enjoy it now. Um, say we sup with him and he sups with us that <clears throat> when, when that time comes that we can that we will be with him forever <clears throat> we don't we don't uh, we don't need to cry out what shall we eat or what shall we drink or or where, what are we going to be clothed with? But we can say, Lord, what, what, what do you want me to do? You know, we don't have to look out and, and think that we don't have enough, but we have plenty. And too often I think we focus on, or I focus on, I don't have enough, or I'm not able to do this instead of, just being, just asking God, what do you want me to do? I know that whatever you want me to do, you're going to give me the strength to do it. You're going to give me the words that I need, um, and you're going to give me the courage to and and uh, endurance to bear whatever you want me to. You have for me to bear <clears throat> that we can, um, like Paul said. Um, I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. <clears throat> and if we, if we believe in laying hold on eternal life, we possess it, then we're going to, like I already said, we're going to watch over it or we're going to make sure maintain it we're going to make sure that we that we we grip that we cling to it we're not going to to let go we're going to guard it protect it um <clears throat> and like like we do our like we do our life you know i thinking about that <clears throat> We all care about our life, our physical life. We do. I mean, we get sick. We we do what we can to get better. Um, <clears throat> and um, like, was it? It's in Job. I think it's maybe what. Uh, Is it what Satan said to, to God in that conversation? Skin for skin, and yea, all that a man hath will he give for his life. I think what's in there, I'm not sure. But basically, <clears throat> you know, if we're sick and we're near death's door, um, I know when I was sick in the hospital, um, you know, the, the, uh, the thought didn't go through my mind Will I be able to afford this? Will I be able to, you know, what, this? I will just have to give it up because it costs too much. But, you know, that's and in the same way, um, or even maybe it's not, maybe I shouldn't say in the same way. It's very. It's a lot more important to lay a hold on eternal life than in our physical life because, af after all. We can't experience the fullness of eternal life until after this physical life is over. And yet, we say we, we want to experience the glories of heaven, and yet we, we do everything we can to continue possessing our physical life. <clears throat> few more few more quotes um, 
is infinitely better to suffer than to sin. To lose property than purity. <clears throat> God has given us that priceless jewel of purity. Let's guard it as the apple of our eye. I guess, <clears throat> I don't know how many of you have ever had um, hurt your eyes, that they're light sensitive. Um, that's one thing that um, pain that Juan is going through is light sensitivity. I've, I, uh, I've had it several times. <clears throat> it's very painful, you know, and if, if we think of it, and there's more, I think there's several scriptures that, um, point, you know, bring out as the apple of our eye. And if we, if we think about it, that um, to eternal life, that we protect it, that we strive for it as we protect the apple of our eye, as we protect our eye. Our eye, <clears throat> I think uh, maybe it was, Maybe it was last Sunday that um, Freeman made the comment of hurting his finger, and he said it hurt his whole body, down to his little toe. That's the way. Our, if we if we hurt our eye, that's the way it hurts. It 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 hurts our whole body. It affects our whole body, to where we just we can barely function, and. You know, it's, if, if we think of um, that's how it affects God when we, when we uh, turn away from him, when we, when we don't uh, follow his commands, when we take our own path. <clears throat> um, a few more quotes. If we starve at all, let us starve our bodies and not our spirits. If anything must be stunted, let it be our, our base or our evil nature. <clears throat> Having divine life within us, let us not neglect to feed it and supply its wants. <clears throat> you know, if... Um, Along with those, it, you know, if we, um, if we give up spiritual things uh, and we, we follow earthly things, it's like uh, a man that gives up attendance upon religious service in the week because he hungers to increase his business. It's like buying brass with gold. Giving up something valuable for something of lesser value that looks, could say it has a similar appearance. Brass and gold are you know, the same color, but the value is totally, uh, totally different. Um, or you know, if we, we make a poor choice, <clears throat> if we think of a work of, or a place of employment or doing something that um, or whatever just to make more money it's like giving up or it's like bartering fine flour for the husks we think of the uh, prodigal son you know finally he didn't have anything except the husks that were being fed and he gave you know he wanted a good time and he, he gave up all, everything he had to have a good time, and finally he didn't have anything anymore. <clears throat> it's like the, the uh, um, so a ship that's sinking, and, um, and the only way of escape is, is swimming. There's no... There's no lifeboat. There's, you know, it's just like, <clears throat> that's the way it is. There's only one way 
There's only one way to heaven. And so one man, his choice as he, he heads out of the ship is to, gra to grab a, a life belt, could say a life jacket, and puts it on. He could say he chooses Christianity to help him as he, as he swims. <clears throat> Another takes his gold, binds it up in a girdle, and binds it around his waist. That's important to take with him. He wants his gold. You know, he's only, <clears throat> then he, and he throws himself out. He'd have more chance of survival without the gold. He says, you know, he's binding it about him. He's dragging him down. <clears throat> not saying that, you know, it's not important to, we need to, we need to have things of survival, but as we, you know, money is something that we need as we go through our life, but is it, is it the most important? Do we, do we choose that over, um, over the life of, over the, a Christian, a Christian, uh, over Christianity? <clears throat> If we think of, as it says there in verse 19, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come. That the, you know, it's, if we think of a foundation, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's not something that just happens. It takes time uh, to, to put in a foundation that's going to, to stand, that's going to um, hold and support um, and it's, um, <clears throat> we consider as we, as we put in a foundation that it, it, you know, what's going on top of it um, when we build and then we make sure that that foundation is, is solid. Um, just makes me think of the, uh, <clears throat> you know, the, the wise man and the foolish man foolish man just fell on top of the sand and it didn't it didn't hold it didn't stand the test of time but it uh, it came down <clears throat> like the the uh, direction was given to Timothy it says uh, <clears throat> it says Follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. <clears throat> uh, it didn't didn't say, um, you know, to try to get recognized, but uh, to make himself a name. But to th those things that that um, that give eternal life. <clears throat> Um, I guess when in the Sunday school class when position or um, we're talking about yeah position it um, you know it, it made me think of this there's a couple of quotes that I read <clears throat> um, this uh, young a uh, warrior he was he was given this uh, little town of Sparta and he complained and he said to his mother he said that it was such a small state he didn't you know he thought he 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 needed bigger and and he said uh, his his mother said my son Sparta has fallen to your lot and it is your duty to adorn it. And the same way, 
to us Christian Christian people <clears throat> adorn the doctrine of God, your Savior in all things. We don't need to to look at position and think that this is what I need or that is what I need. We need to are we a, are we a minister, a preacher? Are we a Sunday school teacher? Whatever. To seek to honor God. To give God the glory. <clears throat> are we a servant? You know, on our on our material work, are we a master? Are we a servant? It's honor God. <clears throat> You know, uh, um, as if we're a servant, you know, we it's easy for us to look at and think that it's so much. It, you know, there's so many other things that would be uh, a more preference, and yet we don't. Um, if if we can't, if we can't joyful joyfully fulfill the place where we are, we can get a different position and we still won't be satisfied. And <clears throat> as, you know, if, if we think of, I, I've, in, it seems like in the recent past, several times I've come across it that, you know, we can be, we're either slaves or servants. We're either a slave to Satan or a servant to God. Um, we are not our own. God is, somebody is in control of us. You know, even, it's, we know that even the breath that we breathe, God gives to us. You know, as we uh, <clears throat> as we lay hold on eternal life, as we as we believe in it, as we uh, possess it and guard it and watch over it, you know, we do all that because we expect we expect uh, an end of this physical life. We expect a time of of being in, in heaven and enjoying that eternal life to the fullest. <clears throat> and I read a, an article of, of a, a uh, lady that was on her deathbed. And I'll just read it. <clears throat> her name was Carrie. She was very sick and near to die but she expressed a desire to live at, at which this uh, Mr. Lockhart she was telling this to, he was somewhat astonished for he knew her to be well prepared to depart. She wished to stay here for a while for a, a good and for a very good reason. <clears throat> there was one thing she wished she could see here on earth which she could not see in heaven. She wished to remain here to see it again and again. I was, when I, st I, I, I just stopped reading there for a little bit. I was like, I wonder what that would be. What would you see in heaven, see on earth that you couldn't see in heaven? <clears throat> so he asked her, what is it? And she said, it's the tear of repentance on the sinner's cheek. I want to see a great many more of those before I go home. And you know, that's, she had a, she had a very good reason to, she wanted, her desire was that all, you know, that more and more people would be saved. <clears throat> Shall we, as we, as we go through our life, be like the man that was, was in the water and he was, 
he was exhausted, near exhaustion, and he came to this lifeboat, and he, they told him that he, there's no room for him. He, he can't, he can't, he, they can't, he can't come in. And so he grabbed hold of the boat, and to save them, they cut his, they just cut his arm, his hand off where he grabbed hold. So he grabbed it with his other arm, and he's, they cut that off. And he wasn't going to give up. So he grabbed it with his teeth, and then they had mercy on him. He was desperate to lay hold on his physical life. How desperate are we on laying hold on eternal life? <clears throat> what, how are we easily detoured? In closing, I'm going to read two verses from Daniel. As Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. He was determined by what he ate. That was important to him. And then the other verse says, Daniel knew that the writing was signed, and he went into his house, and his windows being opened in his chamber toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before God as he did before time. It didn't matter to him. He knew he knew he, he was not going to turn away from serving God. Let's kneel for prayer. <clears throat> Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for eternal life just <clears throat> help us as we that we don't lose our grip grasp on it and lord if we <clears throat> if we haven't um, gotten a grasp on it and you're speaking to us help us that we can be open and that you're that we can uh, make a choice <clears throat> lord that your name be glorified just give us wisdom and strength and courage as we go through our life we know not when you call us home help us that we can be prepared when you come for us that we can experience the eternal life with you forever we just commit this day in your hand watch over us and keep us as we go from here in Jesus name we pray amen <clears throat> I'd like to open it up for testimony or correction whatever the Lord lays on your heart <clears throat>